what's up family what's up y'all i am super delighted y'all because guess what they about to let me go they about to discharge me finally and i'm super super grateful that this opportunity has come my fever broke um not last night but the night before last and it's been staying down ever since god is good y'all when i tell y'all that i'm a walking testimony i am but just sit back y'all and just stay tuned i'm about to tell y'all okay y'all so um the doctor came in and she well i had three doctors to come in between five o'clock this morning and um between five o'clock this morning and now well what time is it it's three o'clock between what Ooh, but what was between five o'clock this morning and 11 and my eyebrows are just jacked up and they was like well your fever has been a good standing since the night before last it's been a little you know it's been like the most of the men was 98.9 but then now it's like 97 something so my fever has been good so i told y'all the reason why they was keeping me because my fever would wouldn't go down and then i still had a little bit of pain but y'all look i am gonna get up out of here okay okay i'm waiting on scoop to um to come get me and then i'm waiting on them to bring my medicine from the pharmacy what they said was what i was having was like a terrible lupus flare when I went through the surgery, it put my body into shock. And the shock kind of just, just, you know, lupus, it tried to attack it. It tried to attack your cells and it tried to like literally break me down. But you know, God wouldn't let it be so. So many things try to come against me because y'all believe it or not, people also be praying for you, praying against you. And not only that, you know, just stuff just be happening, period. That's why you have to keep your mind right. You got to keep your heart right. And you got to love the unlovable love people in spite of what they do to you, how they treat you, how they feel about you. Because you're the one that's going to have to, you know, give an account to God. At the end of your life cycle, you're the one that's going to have to answer to God. So, you know, you got to, you know, do the right thing in spite of, you know, what goes on. That's why I know that God is a healer and that I keep coming up out of all this stuff that I'm going through because I still love people in spite of how they treat me, in spite of what happened, in spite of what they do. I still love the unlovable. I just be nice to people because you don't know when you're going to have to cross a bridge, you know, because once you burn a bridge, it's going to be hard to build a bridge once it's burnt. You know, it's hard to rebuild. So that's why you got to make sure you do right by people and love people and be nice to people. Even though, y'all, I've been at my worst. I never want to see nobody in this position, especially if they done me wrong. I don't want to see them. And y'all, I done packed up big time. Look at my flat. Look at, well, look at all my balloons that I got, y'all. I packed up all my stuff. So y'all know I'm ready to go. Look. Look. Honey. I am ready to go. Okay. Okay, y'all. So, y'all know that the first thing I'm ready to do is just go to the schools and participate and just try to find something to do with these children. I'm ready to get back to the band because I, I miss so much band stuff. But, and I'm ready to cook for Thanksgiving, y'all. Tell me what y'all doing down below for Thanksgiving. I'm so into holidays. So what y'all going to do for Thanksgiving? Because I'm ready to do stuff. But one thing my doctor did tell me, y'all, she know me. She was like, listen, go home and relax for at least three days before you try to go to any one of your kids' school. She specifically said that, y'all. So I'm going to try to relax for a few days. And, um... I'm going to, cause she, she left out and she forgot to add that part in y'all. And then she came back in. Yeah, y'all, she left out. I thought she had gave me all my instructions, but she left out and she came back in and she was like, Miss, Mrs, 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 do not 
go up to the schools. I know you want to, but, you know, just give yourself time to rest. At least wait until Tuesday of next week or Monday of next week to try to jump right back in. But, y'all, I'm liberated. I'm excited, and I'm just happy about the things that God is doing in my life. So, y'all, I will talk to y'all when I get in the car or talk to y'all when Skooky here. And y'all, thank y'all just for following me on this this journey. It's been tedious, but God is good. Look who's here, y'all. He came. He made it. Free out here. Well, guys, I am in the car. I am so excited, y'all. I'm about that thing. Okay, I'm super excited. When I had stepped outside, y'all, I wanted to record so bad, but I had a real older nurse and who transported me down y'all and she was she was with the yap yeah but y'all i am free at last free at last <laughs> thank god oh man i'm free at last how you feel about this school i'm ecstatic why are you at the correctional facility <laughs> y'all i'm so happy i'm about to go home to my children and y'all thank y'all for following me on my journey um y'all please check out my um hospital vlog my um surgery vlog and this is just it's like it's just letting me have it it's just letting me know that it's happy i'm home too but um whoo, just check out all those vlogs y'all and i will see y'all <laughs>